Hey cousins, welcome back to another video. I hope y'all are having an awesome week so far. So, in today's video, I'm going to be changing and rearranging my living room. I know I just recently done it, but I'm not happy with the layout and the setup of it. Um, I told you on my last video that I wanted the TV on that wall where the entryway table was, so... That's what we're doing in this video. If you need some inspiration to change around your living room or cleaning motivation, then y'all stay tuned. So, I had been wanting to change around my living room to the setup that y'all are about to see me do. But, I had to move the couch and everything that day and realized that our direct TV cord was not long enough. And, that's my fault when the guy come out and installed. I should have had him leave me at least 50 foot of cord underneath the house. Um... So that's why I didn't do it and I didn't want to call them back out here. Um, so my husband was like, why don't you just go and buy um a longer coaxial cable and adapter? And I was like, wait, why didn't I think of that? So that's what I done and I looked up because I think I ended up getting a hundred foot roll on clearance for fourteen dollars at Walmart. Before y'all ask how come my husband didn't help me move this big behind couch he was at the gym he told me he'd help me move everything once he got back but i told you how in my yard video i'm impatient when it comes especially when it comes to asking someone for help if i i'm gonna do it myself i'm gonna find a way to do it myself but anyway oh my god look at the mess that was underneath that couch see how my house is lived in um and that's not a scratch you see there i mean it is a scratch but it's not like it's just like a mud scratch if that if that makes sense um but yeah this is a real life mess right here and it's crazy to think we've been in our house for eight months now it has been eight months i still find myself going back watching the video when they hauled our house in we um passed the house the other day being hauled out and I told my husband, I said, That's that was my the best day of my life. Obviously a wedding day and the days my kids were born, but the day our house was hauled out will forever be my favorite one of my favorite days. I'll just say it that way. So back to the scratch just right there on the floor like i said it was like a glob of mud or something was trapped underneath the couch to cause it it come up as soon as i mopped the floors you can't even tell there was anything there you'll see that at the end of my video 
But I've been getting a bunch of questions over here and on TikTok about this house. Um, I even had a friend that I've previously worked with at Walmart message me on my Facebook page because her and her family, um, they they just signed on the same house, so they're waiting on it as well. And everyone asks, you know, how do you like it? You know, they've seen horror stories on this this um particular not this model just the brand that this house which is a true home and you know i've not had any troubles with our house the pipes the plumbing nothing so far um i i, I always tell them though the floors in this house the vinyl flooring that they put in this one is very cheap it is very cheap like the least little chair being pushed across it will like leave ripples in it and we learned that like our first day we moved in here when we were bringing in our washer we set the washer down and it like caused a ripple on the floor but <sighs> you live and you learn so just a message to anyone just looking at a true home be careful with these floors Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break
And these are just some wall anchors that we're putting in for the TV mount. Jump into the car on a Friday night, I wanna drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue We don't ever play it in the night, it's young, it doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like, there ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours So what are some of y'all's plans for Easter? Let me know down below in the comment section. Right now, the only thing that we have planned is um just a little Easter egg hunt for the kids, mainly for Austin and the two younger kids. But of course, the two oldest ones are going to do that too. And um possibly church. And I'm probably going to cook a big Easter dinner traditional southern easter dinner which probably won't consist of a ham um potato salad and maybe green bean i don't know i don't know i need to think of something and see what i need to see what everyone what everyone's craving i know mama did request a strawberry shortcake so i'm gonna go tomorrow to our local strawberry farm and pick up a bucket of fresh strawberries but yeah, y'all let me know down below what y'all's plans for Sunday. Friday night, I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen the sky so blue. And you taking me home.
drunk and too scared and loud. I do have a rug in my Amazon cart right now. It's it's perfect. It goes with my house. It's like the Aztec theme. But it's not cheap. So um you know, it's one of those things that you see and you want to check out, but you're like, I could put that money elsewhere. But it I got I got a nice rug in my cart. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobby bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different So here is the reveal. I love it. It just makes the whole space feel so much bigger than what it already is. I mean, the living room's already big, so is the dining room. But with the couch here and walking into the front door, you it's just, it looks so much bigger. So I have been telling my husband, like, I wish that the kitchen was a lot brighter. Well, that's all I had to do was move this couch and like the light reflects off the floor and into the kitchen, if that makes sense. But I love it. It flows so much better. Well, that's going to be it for this evening's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope I was able to inspire you as well as motivate you. Don't forget to leave those comments down below and I will see y'all back here in the next one.